It's well, more like black billowing smoke, um, very intense. Flames gutted a Bonita Springs home overnight, leaving a family and their dog with no place to go. Now, typically, Red Cross volunteers would race out to help the family. But of course, because of the pandemic, helpers had to call an audible. New at 11, NBC2's Joseph Ojo is finding out what it's like to live through a personal disaster during a pandemic. We have seen uh, a spike in home fires uh, over the last several weeks. We are only nine days into April, but since March 16th, the American Red Cross has seen a jump in the number of fires they respond to since many of us are cooped up in our homes due to COVID-19. So we are seeing an increase in the number of fire responses. Over the past couple of weeks, the organization has responded to 13 home fires, impacting 35 people. And you can add this mobile home fire on Valois Drive in Bonita Springs to the list. More like black billowing smoke. Very intense. To give you some perspective on this fire, you can see right through the home. You can still see that the fridge is open, the microwave is charred, and this right here used to be a porch, but it's now all gone. Two adults and a dog made it out the fire safely, but were left with nothing. That's why the Red Cross stepped in to help. So in light of uh, events due to COVID, uh, social distancing, we have transitioned to a virtual disaster response operation. But help is no longer coming in the form of in-person contact, rather via telephone and video conference calls to limit the spread of the virus. It feels different for our volunteers because they are humanitarians, they like that contact. Um, however, we need to ensure the safety of our workforce. The Red Cross also urges you to have a safety plan because as more fires happen around us, you want to be prepared. Well, we have our smoke alarms yeah. and, and he, he's good about testing them every few months to make sure they still work. Joseph Ojo, NBC2.